Okay guys, I'm going to jump straight into this one and uh, talk about what I believe was a, a one-way molly used by Kenny S to get the advantage uh, on Cajun Beer yeah, on the grand final of the most recent um, Dreamhack Malmo. He sees Molotov goes in and he can quite easily see Cajun Beer. I mean not easily, but he can see his head. Now from Cajun B's point of view, um, I don't see anything there. Uh, I don't think Cajun did. I don't think uh, many human beings would. So even if I stop it here on the last frame uh, before... Kenny's shooting, you can see Kenny can quite easily uh, see Cajun B, and Cajun B cannot see Kenny at all. And it's only once I zoom in even more and slow it right down that you can just see Kenny S there. He appears in that frame right there. Um, and that's ridiculous. Uh, no one can see that, and I think this is on purpose. And I know a lot of you be thinking, uh, what are the settings like for this? I've used low settings for this uh, first clip here because that's what uh, most pros use from what I could gather. So this, uh, this clip here is with on the highest settings for effect and shaded detail. And you'll see I'm literally going to have to slow it down. Kenny S peaks and you can quite easily uh, see him from Cajun B's perspective, especially compared to um, the last clip. With the high shaded details and effects, let's look at it from Kenny's point of view. And you'll see he gets the peak in, but I don't think that's as easy to see as with the low settings. And uh, no, nah, it's, it's definitely not. And that's why uh, your, your video settings are actually a lot more complicated than a lot of videos will let you believe about um, how Molotovs work and when you can see through the smoke and when you can't. So let's have a look ourselves. So I'm starting off here on low settings. You see if I throw a Molotov down and sit close to it, quite easy to see bot Adam there. Very easy. Now if I throw the same Molotov again and back up, you see I hit this point here where the smoke is just impossible to see through. And I mean that continues. No matter how far you back up, you see it becomes very difficult to see on the low settings. Um, and yeah, playing close to the Molotov is where the low settings really helps you out. Um, even if you play further back, if I'm all the way back here and chuck the Molotov close to me, which is what uh, essentially Kenny was doing, you see I can still quite easily see the player down there at the other end. Now I do the same thing, but with the high settings now. You see I throw a Molotov close to me, it becomes harder to see through the smoke than with the low settings, but you can still see him, it's not impossible. Further away, this is where the high settings really shine, you see, you can actually see him. With the low settings, it was basically impossible to see. Um, and that's the biggest thing about the high settings. Now again, with the medium range here, with the last one, you see you sit close to the smoke, it becomes harder again than the low settings to see him at long range, and this is something uh, you need to keep, in, uh, keep into consideration when, when picking your settings. Now the low settings are used by most pro players from what I can gather and the reason for this is I think um, is the fact that it gives you less distractions, distractions on other parts of the map uh, despite the Molotov difference with maybe you might think oh I can see through in all situations. And um, obviously this is something you need to take into consideration but something I think that you really need to know is just the strengths and weaknesses of what your settings are. I'm not going to tell you what one setting is better than the others. I think you should just go to the low settings, uh, follow the pros, they know what they're doing, that's the reason they're pros. And um, just know the strengths and weaknesses of the low settings like what I just showed you that you should be close and if, if he is long range um, and then Molotov is further away from you, maybe get out the way and don't give them that advantage in case they do peak. And that's it. Let me know what you think about this peak from Kenny. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you later.